On to Somalia now, and the much-awaited general elections planned for December have been moved to January. The Electoral Commission plans to commence with the election of senators, followed by parliament and presidential vote. CDTN's Abdullah Zizbella reports. In a statement, the Federal Electoral Implementation Team says the election for members of the Upper House of Parliament has been postponed until next week. The polls initially planned to start Thursday, 31st December, has now been moved to 7th January 2021. It's the third postponement in less than a month, with the opposition skeptic about the polls. The commission says the move to reschedule the election timetable was agreed upon after Galmudug Regional President Ahmed Abdikarie asked for an extension to the previous deadline. Regional parliaments from Somalia's five federal member states will elect the senators from the 7th to 14th January next year. Polls are expected to start in some regional states that enjoy close cooperation with the federal government, while others like Puntland and Jubaland are yet to confirm their participation. Meanwhile, opposition politicians, including presidential candidates, want the Electoral Commission disbanded, claiming it's made up of president's allies, a claim the government has denied. Based on the current circumstances, it's not likely that compromise will be reached on the electoral impasse. It's however likely that elections will happen in some regional states. Politically, this will impact the outcome of the electoral cycle, as parliament and senate will be formed with the absence of some representatives. Election for lawmakers and senators from Somaliland and Benadir region will take place in the capital, Mogadishu, as polls cannot be held in the breakaway region that's seeking independence from Somalia. As per an electoral deal reached in September, Polls will be held in two constituencies in the country's five regional states. Authorities say they've beefed up security in all election venues. The Al-Qaeda-linked militant group Al-Shabaab has threatened to disrupt the polls. The Council of Ministers has been briefed. Security preparations is well underway. Sector commanders have met with the Prime Minister and they have assured us of election security. Elsewhere, a Mogadishu-based think tank is hosting government officials and the opposition politicians in Gerowe, the administrative capital of the Puntland state in the country's northeast. The annual event by the Heritage Institute will focus on the country's future amid an electoral impasse. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.